And good morning and welcome back to GP on the PC playing Omnia. Hope you're all well and hope you're all keeping safe. Must stop doing that. Really cranes my neck. So here we are. Welcome back. Hope you're all okay. Now, the addition I've made over here seems to be working quite, quite well. Yep. Nothing in the backup chest. Oh, I will say as well. These soundproofing make quite a difference to the noise, but it's weird because they affect all the noise, even the walking, which is quite weird. And over here, yep, that's going well. We do need to find another tree sort. Whoop, that's going a bit. Oh, that's really quick, isn't it? Because this is going down fairly quickly I think I'd prefer it if this was slowly accumulating bits of wood but it's not but it's certainly going through them and we have 7,800 stored so far which is impressive oh now hang on let me just because well for some reason uh, FOV is n it looks like I like it to be about 90 it really does look like things have sort of changed slightly. My mouse is very fast. Try that. Oh, it does look, oh, that's a bit better. It does look like Lucy's trying to get in on the act. Lucy is our cat. She's just decided she's going to start meowing. Right. Now, what are we up to today? Well, I wanted to see, oh, running out of room, I need to make some totems or things for those, but I wanted to have a look at our achievements and see, those are challenges for the botanist. Now, how, we want to scroll up. Actually, if I was to make my uh, video settings, GUI scale, Let's just make it one for the time being. I really can't see that properly, but. And. Oh, OK. I thought it would make that bigger. There you go. It doesn't. So let me just. I've got to get really close to the screen to see this. There we are. That's better. Oh, there comes a time in everyone's life, I think, where you just go. No, I can't see that. Right. Uh, charcoal block. Anyway, we were over here. So first, we've got Batania. Okay. Nature's Aura. We haven't tried yet. Is that is that it? And that's it for Nature's Aura. Power of the Forest. Time of Brilliance. Okay. The Nether. These are normal one quests. This is rats. Whilst I like the idea of rats, I don't like the idea of rats. Does that make sense? I'm really sorry. We've done all of those. Fine. Silent mechanisms. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need to compress. We don't need an electric fern, and we don't need. Oh, okay. We could upgrade the alloy adventure. Oh. What have we got here? These are the Minecraft ones. Monsters hunted. Okay. Husbandry. We've got to get some bees. Okay, and again, Minecraft setups, and these are the Minecraft ones. Right. So the point is, from those, we haven't really got much. But what we do want to look at now today is, uh, what is it? It's a mining, okay, there is a mining gadget that we could look at. That's quite impressive. And there is also, I believe, do we have drills? Duh. And we have drills. 
Now the infinity drill. <gasps> Whoa. So that does one by one. That does three by three by one. So I'm assuming, although one shouldn't assume, that they are settings so that you can have it. Oh my God. Should we sh share that one with Mrs. GP? Mine's an area of 11 by 11. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I got her attention. 13 by, th so it, that mine's an area of 13 by 13 by 13. But do you see how, hang on, I've got to get close to the screen for this because that is, that's a million, that's a billion, that's a trillion. Uh, is it, what's more than a trillion? Is it a, a Googleplex or something? A gazillion. A gazillion. Okay, I don't think it is a gazillion, <laughs> but it's nine gazillion power. Now we've got a few million, so, you know. That, that's that's just incredible but it only does so it does it can mine an area 13 by 13 by 13 however it only has nine attack damage now what I want to do today we're just going to head down to the basement Ooh. because I've read through most of the Britannia book I haven't read through all of it hang on let's get that out of the way but the Britannia book, Britannia does a lot of things that are quite useful that could be done by machines. So the question you have to ask yourself is, do you want to go with plants and mana or technology? And I'm thinking, hang on, let's just pop that there. Uh, we'll go for the rail tracks. Because good old Mrs. GP, marble, what is that? A brown shimmering mushroom. We haven't got one of those. I'll take those. We'll give. We'll, we'll be very kind and leave those. And twenty nine diamonds, bless her. Um, a dimensional shard. All right, osmium. So here we go. This is where we put all of this away. Keep the bed just in case. Um, osmium, definitely. And nickel and tin. I don't know why I picked up contaminated food, but it keeps it organized and tidy, doesn't it? Well. Mrs. GP has definitely, definitely been busy. As I said, bless her. Loads of tin and lead. That's all we like those. We'll have the mushrooms. And, no, I want those. Let's hold on to those. Okay, so we're now full. I don't want the diorite. We will pick up the diorite. That is for sure. And are there any more that I want? A black shimmering mushroom. Don't think we've got that one. And oh, and here we are. Oh, that's the uh, nature's compass. Uh, block stone, block of gravel. Okay. And the stone excavator. So as you can see, I am picking and choosing the best bits to take back with us. Um, and I will have to come down back here again. Oh, leave Mrs. GP a food and the word. Two more bits. No. There. That will just solve that. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head up. Oh, here we go. So today is just, oh, it's, I think, it's a lot of what actually happens in Minecraft is 
you run around, you do something, you go to sleep, which takes time. There we are. And then we go right to here. Now, I haven't really checked this properly yet, but I do want to make sure that this works okay. No, no, not you. Osmium, we've got redstone. There's two types. I've just got to make sure I get the right one. Flint and coal. And let's have a quick look at the mushrooms. And I think we've got the large one and the small one. Yeah. So all we need to do is make that into the tiny one. That's better. Now, when it comes to mushrooms, we've got the mushroom. Oh, we haven't got a black mushroom. So I'm going to have to plant that one. So we can get more. And what I'm going to do hang on let's uh let's plant the black mushroom because today i'm sort of talking as i think which as i'm sure we're probably all pretty much aware now that's not my strong point are you going to grow yes what we need to do as well and if i start putting these in and then i can empty i don't want gunpowder in there that's for sure why is that not working Okay, so then um, um, it's got power. That doesn't make any sense at all. So, and this is why you need to keep checking these things. So, what I want to do, auto sort is on. Oh, now you know I said when I had some problems and things went a bit wrong. I am assuming then that something has reset in here. Our auto eject is on. We have energy. Input is dark red. I want my configurator thing. Now, so that's, it should just pull it. Uh, energy is the back. Uh, where are we? That's the back. No, that's the left. That's, hang on. That's... So the back should be green. No, should, the back should be power. That's the front. That's the back. That's fine. And then that's output is blue. Well, that's pretty weird. There's stuff waiting in there. Okay, so I'm going to try the old-fashioned method. It's a bit like, have you tried switching it off and on? So let me just take something. Alright, so it's working. But it isn't... working if that makes sense now let's try that and iron where are we all right okay oh hang on no 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 redstone signal it's getting its power. So if I was to put that's dark red. It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Why it won't pull from there. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Items may bumped into output. Energy green, none. 
input. So my enriched factory, that's working, that's going. Input and output, input on top, don't want that. Energy at the back. See, so there, that's working fine. That one isn't pulling. And I remember, uh, who was it I was watching? Krillik. I think Krillik, when he had, he had some problems with this. All right. I shall bring you back in a minute. I'm just going to have to play around with this because if it's a problem I've experienced, it may well be a problem you'll experience. Back in a flash. And welcome back. Well, um, as you can see, I've just moved it over. So the chest has now taken all the tin. I've no idea why it did that. But it did. But the good news is, it's working okay. Right, so now we've got those are running. Uh, let's have a look at yon mining tool. Because the drill, I know we've got a few diamonds. But that's going to be 27. We have 11. No, we have a few more than that. So I've got to empty this out, haven't I? However... Okay, uh, let's put some bits away. I need a home for those and those. And a charcoal block is not redstone. It's trying to remember what it is we've got. I have got buckets. Powered rail. A brown shimmering mushroom. No. A cyan shimmering mushroom. So as we go, we need to figure out have we got these? Because I aim to have everything. No. We don't have cyan mushrooms. And we don't have brown mushrooms. I may not be doing as much with Britannia as I thought originally. Because it isn't quite the mod I thought it was. But I'm, I like... If I'm playing this mod pack, I like... To be a bit of a completionist. I'm not necessarily worried about achievements. But I do want to get. You know. I like to have all the plants. Just in case. So the mine. Now. Because the sad thing is. Yeah, six to go. I probably won't use most of those shelves. However I'm going to have to put. Voids on them. And that's eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Thirty-two. I'm going to have to void all of these. That's, and if you think, that's eight obsidian every throw. That's a lot. Let's get rid of the charcoal. And let's see, what have we got here? Uh, basalt we've got. Coal we've got. Have we got, I think we've got yellow shimmering. Yeah, there, there we go. Lovely jubbly. And let's put those in here. And let's see. Yes, because we can see it's starting to shift. This is now on iron ore. So that's working well. And the mufflers are very, very efficient. Now let's have a look. Come on, come on. Right, how are we doing? So I think the next thing to do is put the configurator back. Thank you. Right. So if we go and look at mining tool, mining gadget. Okay. A fatigue trap. Okay. And actually, we need three diamonds. We need a blank upgrade pattern. So that's two diamonds. Right, so let's have a quick. So it's three, four, five. So that's ten diamonds. Because there's one for me and one for Mrs. GP. Pretty sure she'll love this as well. 
So we go there, we want stained glass pane. We might be able to get away with just using a glass pane. Some iron or eight. Now hang on, this one first. Uh, redstone. There. The tablet. What am I missing? Oh, lapis. Uh, right. So we have two of those. Uh, we need some two. So we need iron. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So we've got our tablet. So we can make two mining gadgets. That looks quite fun, doesn't it, really? So what I'm going to do, let's just pop this into the battery. Boop, boop. And it has, oh my word, it holds one million energy. That's going to empty that quite quick. Right. Uh, what does it do? Um, oh, okay. So it highlights the block you're looking at. Oh, I say. Oh, all right. That's quite weird. That's going to get... Oh, I don't know. You very quickly and easily pick it up. Hmm? So what do you think? Is that entertaining? And... Oh, right. And we're energy-wise. Oh, we've still got loads of energy. Because I know that's what was happening... I take it it's not a weapon either, is it? No. So we need a weapon as well as that. So the question then is, if we have a mining gadget, silk touch, that could be very useful. However, upgrade allows for a 3x3. Three three. Ooh, more diamonds. Fortune tier 1. Iron. Fortune tier two. Wow, I don't think we have that much. Oh, no, we do. We do have that much lapis. Fortune three. Nope. So the question then comes, uh, applies efficiency to the mining gadget. That's redstone. That's redstone. That's redstone. That's redstone, that's redstone and redstone. Uh, that's just bucket loads of redstone, isn't it, really? And it's all the one below. So it is uh, one of those plates. So some diamonds. Right. So actually, now my next question. Oh, watch around if it's in your hand, just shooting stuff. You're going to end up shooting stuff. So the question I want to ask is, as we have got Vein Miner in, oh, it does. We can Vein Mine. Who are you? Oh, you're the plague person. Nope. Okay. So it does nothing to objects. It is a mining tool. So let's have a quick look. Let's go over here. Oh. Oh, hello. And it's another plague doctor. Don't we? Yeah. Right. You're in for a bit of a shock, right? There we go. So, if I press that, highlight that. Okay. No, it, it's not doing vein miner. However, if I put 
my way. Right. Okay. That's quite quick. Not as quick. Oh, it is. If you think about what it's actually doing as well, it's mining all the sandstone. You know, I, I test. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mrs. GP is going to enjoy that one. However, I think I need to upgrade it first. How are we doing for power? Oh, look at that. It's not even used a tiny percent of it. Okay. Well, that's one because the actual... I think I'd love to see the 13x13x13 13 by 13 by 13 mining gadget play. But I'm pretty sure we would actually have to have... Yeah. We would actually have to have a very good power source to make that work. And it's... Okay. I know Mrs. GP would destroy the landscape with it. Underground, you understand. She is a mining diva. But you would go underground and then you'd go, there isn't any underground. What, what GP? Where's the underground gone? Right. But, oh, no, to the doorway. Not that. Okay. Right. So the mining tool is quite entertaining. And it's n not really using any hunger either, which is kind of nice. I like that. Um, so we have got... Oh, hang on. Let me just put the living wood away. Sorry. Always remember what you're doing. I don't know. Does anyone else get a bit like that? You run around, you do something, you go... And what was I doing? Yep. Oh, excuse me. Hold on, forgive me. That's it, thank you. It's just another alarm going off. No, nothing to worry about. Right. Sand, sand. Sandstone, no. Sand, sand. I don't have sandstone in the setup yet. I've got limestone, but because sandstone can be made with that, I didn't see any point. And I probably don't need to be carrying around the jack-o'-lanterns either, really, do I? Let's see. Uh, get rid of that for the time being. Oh, excuse me. I'm some bismuth or limestone that can go. Lots of things in here that need sorting out, but this is the odd bod drawer. And also... Britannia stuff goes here. Right. So the mining tool is a bit of a success. Provided you have power. If you have power. It's going to be absolutely amazing eventually. But if you don't have power. I wouldn't worry. So I've now got two tools. You see, that's got soul bound to it. I won't lose it. Mm. Right, so for my general running around and bits, that is more useful than that one. And how are we doing over here? Fine. And it is, that's good. Is there any more osmium? Let's just see. Okay. By putting it in order, then it decided to shift it over. However, why aren't they... Oh, okay. That's still... What's that? That's platinum. That's tin. Now, the tin... Why isn't the tin leaving... Oh, it is. That's just iron. Um, output is down the bottom. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Why would that not go down? Uh, auto eject is on. It comes in there. Energy at the back and output there. 
and the output is working for these. Iron has obviously got stuck. Okay. Uh, it's that last one is not taking, is not leaving. Ah. Here we are, let's have a quick look. You see, I think the one thing I have found is probably half my time is troubleshooting. See, that's going in, but that's not coming out. Okay, so let's try the old-fashioned method again. And the tin is still not coming out. Oh, hang on. Uh, maybe that bit has to be a gold thing to take it out a bit quicker. Oh, let's find out. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to... Am I glowing? Yes, have I got the bit? Yes. Right. So we need to have uh, that on there. And then the gold one there. Now let's see. Nope. It's not taking the end one. What is it? Um, no, it is now. It is now. That's just pretty weird, isn't it, really? How are we doing? I'm watching this one here. I hope it goes. So that's very slow to come out, that one. So if you are using these pipes, they're okay. Maybe only stick to the fourth one, so rather than the advanced, and then upgrade it with the speed selections. That might make a little bit more of sense rather than having the advanced have the one before it. And are you working okay? So these are all tin and this is osmium. Okay. And again, auto... Oh, I see. So when you actually take it apart, auto sift comes off. Right, well, okay. Well, now it seems to be working. Let's have a look. Let's pop that there. Okay. So maybe try gold. It might speed it up a little bit. Right. Ah, so that's the mining tools dealt with. Now, I will say as well is, I'm also looking at other mod packs. Um, and as I've said before on numerous occasions, this is... I'm trying to find a mod pack that's great for my grandchildren and me to play on. Well, I'm Mrs. GP, obviously. She's not one of my grandchildren. And I have found that a lot of mod packs coming out now actually need sort of like six to eight gigs of RAM. Now, coming from what I'd call probably a real family, most of my kids don't have, or grandkids, shall I say, don't have high-end computers and by high I mean they've got like 8 to 16 gigs of RAM I know that's most modern computers do but how many grandkids out there actually have modern up-to-date computers oh I put the stone in the wrong place so I will say in a print for instance I've got Van Helsier 2 to work but I had to put it up to like 6 gig I think it was and when I'm running the server as well, which presumably would also need 6 gig, that's 12 gig of RAM that I've used. Now I've got 16, so that's not a problem. But it's not, for, it's not everyone's computer. So I will say as well, while playing this, I'm still looking at other things. And here we go again. Yeah, it's just... Hang on. Nope. Oh, I don't know what I did to do that, but... Those, those, I just don't like the rats. Ooh, as I mentioned before. 
Right, so let's just tidy up. So today we haven't done much. We've got a mining gadget. Uh, we've looked at mining drills. I've fixed a few little problems. In here, seems to be okay, with the exception of we're having to do that. And actually, what I am going to do is, what's it called? It's called obsidian. Now, blaze mesh really that that's quite expensive that to get a block of obsidian a blaze mess so that's nine blaze rods for one piece of obsidian hmm. uh, obsidian dust so you crush a piece of obsidian to get obsidian dust obsidian wafer so I'm thinking the general way to get obsidian is to find a big lake of lava and some water Vector plate. Oh, and yes, so that'll be for mob farms. And um, mine it. Certainly with the atomic disassembler, that is very, very good at that, I have to say. Right, so I'm thinking for the moment, this is GP in the, P on the, in the PC. Well, I suppose technically I am in a PC. GP on the PC. Signing off, saying take care, be safe. Wandering into a hole. Can't steer when I'm riding backwards. But you take care. Be safe. And I'll see you all on tomorrow's episode. And if you have sort of enjoyed what you've seen. Consider the like and the comment. And the subscription even. You know. But in the meantime. For those who have subscribed. Thank you so very very much. Heart goes out to all of you. And take care between now and the next episode. Bye bye for now.